We got to talk about 90s music one of these days. Yeah, we've never done a break on that. <laughs> no, we have. Oh, literal, Jim. Got a lawyer that wants to defend Sal. Wow. We got audio from 2005. Oh, I got to hear that. Yes. And Roland's in studio. Just quickly, uh, Roland went to the game last night. Yeah. Saw the Brooklyn Nets and the Miami Heat. Oh, and oh. Miami Heat is just kicking the Nets. Is, is it Nets? Is, the Nets is... How, the how Nets do you do that? The Nets ass. Kicking the Nets ass. I say Nets is I, I think you have to put a... Yeah, Nets is... No, Nets, it's not Nets. Nets is... It's the Nets ass. No, I'm going with Nets is... Enten in a minute. Esses is... Nets is asses is... I was an English major in college. Um, you didn't go to college. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, and I'm stupid. Say <laughs> 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 uh, How was the game? Uh, the food spread was delicious. You, what? He was sitting courtside, and that's that's his first thought about the game last night, that the food spread was delicious. Yeah. Who puts that out? Um, uh, the Barclay guy was very kind. So I went back to the food spread. They had everything imaginable from snow cones to shrimp, sushi. <laughs> shrimp? Shrimp. <laughs> shrimp. <laughs> Did you have any? Who eats snow cones and shrimp? And shrimp. Well, and shrimp. Well, they're in the ice in the uh, in the first place, mm. the shrimp. So. C-H-T-R-I-M-P, shrimp. It was good. And then that's where I saw Michael Kill Williams. He said hello to Jimmy and you guys. He yeah. didn't say hi to us. He just said hi to Jimmy. You were just trying to... He probably didn't say hi to me either. Yeah. Mm. He remembered. Yeah, he said, uh, you're the only Jimmy makes me do crazy shit. Oh. And started eating his... Did he uh, say hi to Opie and Anthony? Yeah. Pinky swear? Pinky swear. He said, say hi to the guys for me, too. All right. Oh, and you said LeBron looks like a monster up close? He's, yeah, he's massive up close. I think he's courtyard seats. And just ripped? Courtside. Uh, they had the seat down there, and they go, come sit down here. I'm like, ooh, come... Not an explanation. That's no. Huh? How did you get court courtside seats? Um, I was sitting uh, like ten rows up, and then uh, a seat opened right down there, right right near the ba basket where the nets were defending. And they said, "You want to come sit down here?" Mm. Who said that to you? The Barclays guy. Oh, you know. Okay. Yeah. So you I sat down. The, the nets guy. The nets defend both baskets. Well, the first quarter, wherever that basket they they defended. But as I said, uh, the food was delicious. <laughs> Did you stay to the end? I had left when it was tied. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? It's the greatest. Because uh, I was full of satisfied. <laughs> you were full and satisfied. <laughs> Your meal was finished? I was done. He was full and satisfied. That's why he That's left. It. Did you yeah. eat a lot? Um, I just had a lot of uh, mm, the food. shrimp and uh, sushi. It was delicious. Shrimp. That's Ooh. all I ate. Sushi. Yeah, it's delicious. All right. Uh, why aren't you wearing your Michael Sam uh, jersey to get high fives in the subway? I don't think they give you high fives for that one. <laughs> <laughs> they, <what is> <laughs> uh, they give you high fives for that one. a different one. way. It's rolled into a fist and punched into your butt. <laughs> 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 That's why I didn't want. <laughs> or tucking your pee-pee. Uh, yeah. <laughs> tucking your pee-pee. Roland likes wearing the latest shirt or jersey to get yeah. high fives in the subway if you don't know yet how's that yeah. star wars one working out for you you getting high fives with the star wars shirt yeah you get some looks like yeah i can't wait to tell us how like yeah, yeah right there he has that's why he started wearing star wars t-shirts every day yeah after the jj abrams star wars news started to pick right, up right that's not from this from the old star wars yeah what are some of the shirts you've bought very recently to get high fives in the subway han solo <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i got some han solo t-shirts and uh shirts uh, a few more Jets and uh, I bought, foolishly, three more Nets t-shirts, but I'll invest in Miami soon. <laughs> <laughs> he will be in here like with a Miami Heat oh, t-shirt. Because yeah. I went to LeBron, and he goes, you're wearing a Nets t-shirt. like, my bad, my bad, my bad. He said that to you or no? No. no mm -hmm. People, he just discussed he, People, he's just like, oh. uh, We got... <laughs> Would you have conversations in your head and then relay them as real talks? Yes, I see. Just all of thinks things. Yeah. Like he looked at Michael K. Williams in his mind on the way home. He was like, and Michael goes, hey, I have a conversation. And he believes it. Yeah. Uh, Snow I do have pictures, though. Snowy in Michigan is very mad. A lot of people are very mad at something you just said. <laughs> I think left when it was tied would be what they were uh, go, yeah, ahead, yeah, go ahead, Snowy. I don't know if I'm mad. I love Roland, but who leaves a playoff? It's a tie. <laughs> I don't, not only is it a tie, he's got he's in the front row. He's his feet are on the court. 
basically. I kind of understand if it was a blowout or something like that. Well, I got my stomach. I feel like my stomach. I'm out of here. This game's going nowhere. It's a tie but, game. But they lost. Uh, it forced out. And they. he said it per- uh, perfectly. He was uh, full and satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> so, Are they good, like boys? If you're full and satisfied, you got to go home. What time is it over, do you think? Um, um, 10, 10, 10, 30. Yeah. I don't know. The train's Somewhere right there. there. Yeah. Literally right there. Is it easy? Does everyone get, you have to wait for the train or no? Uh, yeah, every 10 minutes. But I figured, eh, four minutes left. Four minutes left, tied game. <laughs> this would be a good time it, to leave. And that's like LeBron and the those guys are getting all pumped up. Like Those guys look like they're going to win. So, adios, yeah. muchachitos. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> And that yeah, how it was, and his, his first thought was shrimp and snow cones. And sushi was delicious. And the sushi. Shrimp. Right. All right, Snowy. All right, thanks, guys. Thank but you, buddy. We lost, so my, uh, I hedged my bet and I won. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's say hi to Joe and Yonkers. Joe. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. We have a lot of people. I, I just want to read all the calls. Sal, go fuck yourself. I want to agree that Sal's a prick and Sal is rude. Oh. Where's Sal? Oh. OB. Yeah, go ahead, Joe. Couple things. Number one, fuck Sal. Number two, uh, just for an update, uh, snow cones and shrimp, uh, definitely the blacks, no racist. And uh, you had to see me fucking scramble for that remote with the Michael Sam thing on ESPN. I'm in the basement with my 13-year-old son, and I see this fucking guy going for a kiss, and I'm diving across the fucking table for that remote. My son's like, Dad, what's the matter? Fucking saved his life right there. Can I ask you a question? And I'm I'm not a parent, but what's the big deal if he just saw that? Like yeah, I, don't I can see if it was porn, but like if two guys, what is the big deal? Like what's going to happen after that? You know what, Jimmy? The fucking forty five minutes I got to sit there now. When I'm ready to just sit down and relax, instead I got to explain to my son what that fucking was that he just saw. I just I'm trying to fucking avoid that conversation. Uh, okay. All right. You know, there's a there's a couple things going on here. I, I kind of. Uh, rel- can uh, agree with him slightly. But first of all, I don't care if my kid sees uh, two men kissing. I don't. She's the gay? I don't care. I really don't. But you do make a good point that sometimes you get in a situation where you're like, oh, fuck, this is going to be 45 minutes. I don't want to do a fucking conversation. I, I give my kid timeouts just so I could check my numbers. <laughs> <laughs> parents. Uh, unlawful imprisonment. Parents. But you know what, Sal? Uh, I, I mean, uh, uh, I was going to say, you know what, Sam, sorry. Uh, uh, but parents do this all the time. To no check their process. numbers, though? But wait a minute. Is that, so parents you, will do this all the time. Like, the kid is like, ah, that's borderline timeout. You know what? Go into timeout, and then you go and run and do something quickly, because you know you have time to yourself, finally. It's, it's you know, it's probably not right, but <laughs> so is that part it is of the, something that parents do. Is that part of the outrage, then? Like, a lot of, it's not necessarily the thing that's going to destroy their kids, but, like, isn't that, I know it gets easy for me to say, but isn't that part of being a parent is you got to explain shit you don't want to explain? So I know you don't want to waste 45 minutes. Are, but are you going to waste that 45 minutes eventually and explain that to them? Yeah, you know what it is, bro? At that moment, that wasn't, I mean, if I'm going to talk to him about homosexuality, I don't want him to see on fucking ESPN a six foot fucking eight black guy going fucking attacking this little fucking white guy and then have to talk about it. <laughs> Well, this is what, but this is what real, this is what real people talk about. Yeah. This guy is is being dead serious, and I, I don't know. I, I think Michael Sam, you know, kind of gave it a little, a little extra. I think, I think Michael Sam gave it a little extra, knowing that everyone was watching. I think it's a better idea to have a kid kind of get um, some information out there yeah. in the world. Uh, know that that's kind of happening, and then if they're confused about anything, then you come and talk to the parents. To have to just cold go into a conversation about a gay lifestyle because there's two men fucking going at it on your television out of nowhere, that seems a little more like uh, you were blindsided as a parent. I guess you want to do it on um, your time. Is yeah, what you're kind of saying. Yeah. Right? And, and and Sports Center seems like it's going to be kind of a safe place to to go and watch something with your kid, but then, you know, 
It's not like you have yeah. on some movie, some HBO movie, a broke back mountain or something like that. That's what all those people uh, said about Janet Jackson's nipple, though. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of those things you just got to do but it. But that was different because it was it was kind of played once, no one saw it, and then it, they mm. blurred it out, and then I, it was a big issue. I had a Super Bowl party that day with a whole bunch of kids. Not no one, one fucking kid yep. saw that and said, "Daddy, what was?" Well, I no wasn't a daddy back then, but or my brother's kids and my sister's kids. Not not one kid said, "What was that, mommy? What was that, daddy?" Not, but it's not one. Even, but that but that's easier too. You could turn the around that. Kid. Blew that out of fucking proportion. I know, but you could turn around to that kid and say, "It's not all or nothing. It's not. They're not all the same situations." Just because that happened, you could turn to a young kid and say, "That is a breast. It's right. a woman's breast. Right. She, you know, uh, uses to feed children with that." Like it's easy to try to explain homosexuality to a kid is a little more of a, a, a dicey issue. Right? You know, you, first of all, I think a lot of fathers probably don't want a young son to even know that option's available to be yeah. quite well, frank not, with you that's not how it works but, though. But, yeah. yeah but a lot of people think maybe it works that way you know there's a nature nurture argument and it's still an argument uh, I, I don't think anyone's come up with the final solution to that one. I do think it's both. I think there are people that are born absolute gay, but then I think there are people that kind of like that lifestyle and go into it voluntarily. I think it's a, a, a two, uh, two-headed two snake, as they say. But it's not, and I'm not talking about this guy as a parent, just in general, yeah. like, it's it's one of those things where they come after, it's not like, like this guy just said he turned the TV off. Okay, okay. that's fair. But what happens is then parent groups come after someone like this and go, well, we don't want our basically because they don't want to sit down and take the have that unpleasant conversation with their son. This guy is supposed to alter the way he behaves with the person that he loves. Like, and that's where the it's like then they come out. Go, oh, it was inappropriate. It was this. But it really mm -hmm. wasn't. Mm -hmm. He's supposed to change what he's doing. Because people don't want to have an uncomfortable conversation. I don't think it's always that they just don't want to have the uncomfortable conversation. That's probably part of it. Sometimes you just don't want to deal it but I think at it's, that moment. Yeah. It, it, it's like the conversation might be inappropriate even for a parent and a child at that age or that moment. Why I are mean, the two I'm, men I'm kissing? I'm not putting on uh, ESPN to watch that. Huh? What? I'm not, on, I'm not putting on ESPN. To fucking see that. No, oh, you'll you'll put on your gay uh, porn <laughs> to watch that, sir. Let me let me uh, let me ask you this, Joe. The tough question. So uh, it, it turns out, uh, and I apologize for saying this ahead of time, but uh, it turns out your son's gay. Now what? Oh. Now what happens? I love my son, and I don't hate anybody. But I want to be. If I just don't want shit thrown in my face, you know. I, and it's just, sometimes it just feels like it gets fucking shoved down your throat. Yeah. But right. I, no, you made that point, but you're not really analogies. answering. You're not really answering my question. It turns out, you know, he, he's gay. Are you you going to accept that? You're going to be okay with that? Of course, he's my son. Okay. I, accept, right. I, accept I think that's the proper father. answer to be. Well, that fatherly you. bond is pretty strong, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm happy. I'm happy for Michael Sam. I'm happy for him. I just don't like how the fucking media. Just fucking jumps on it and wants to cram it down your throat. All right. so, yeah, I, I don't necessarily disagree with you on that, no. uh, that well, part. And he, I really think that Michael Sam and his boyfriend there, you know, kind of went in for a little extra. A little extra. Yeah. They went in for a little extra knowing. I mean, it's the first time cake was smeared in someone's face because they were Whoa. drafted in the NFL. Yeah. Show me another video where that happened. Would you feel the same way if it was an interracial couple? Like, if like, uh, why is the. I love black chicks. No, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> that would be like, a, that's a different thing. And for a long time, that would have been considered shocking. Yeah, and, right. But now it's like something that, that we're so used to. And this this is just the first one. It, it, a year from now, five years from now, you won't even think twice. You might not like it, but you mm. won't be like, oh, my God, because everyone will have seen Again, it multiple times. Again, I think times. explaining interracial uh, relationships to a child is a hell of a lot easier Maybe, than yeah. explaining homosexuality to a child. Mm. I yeah. think it's just easy, and not not the fact that you it's an awkward conversation or some. It's just easier to explain. You kind of have to get into certain aspects you might not want to get into when you're talking about gay couples with a uh, kid. I don't know. Um, I don't know. Stevie Knight, who's a good one on the Twitter, he just uh, tweeted uh, a Louis C.K. Uh, quote: Two guys are in love, and you don't want to talk to your ugly child for five fucking minutes. <laughs> But, I mean, you know, at that moment, it looks like Joe didn't want to fucking have to deal with it, that's all. Mm -hmm. All right, Joe. just say that some boys like boys and some boys like girls. 
And there's like Why? A no, I don't know. That's, that's just the way, the way it is. is. Oh, I could like boys if you want. No, <laughs> exactly. That's what it boils down that to. That is what it boils down to. And it? nobody will admit that. It, it, no one wants to hear that though. But it's not. Wait till you become a father. It doesn't stop with that. A kid will 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 talk to you. Fucking. Want to jump out a window? Yeah, but they, 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 they have babies. Hey, thank you. They don't let it go with. Oh, okay. Thank you, Daddy. It's like can over they have babies and over, over again? No, they can't have babies. Why? <laughs> right. See, because uh, shit isn't like an egg. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and uh, if you come into a shit, <laughs> it won't divide up and turn into a fetus. Will that stop him from talking? <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I understand your point, Sam. You got to have the conversation. But they they will not stop babbling sometimes. <laughs> Kids with their dumb questions enough. Figure it out on the streets like I did. I had to play the I had to play the round circle game all the way back from Philly What's this week. The round circle just, game just pointing out circles, which is fun for about <laughs> two minutes. How long is the ride from Philly? It was a little traffic, about two hours. Why I ran, I ran out it? of circles. Just, yeah, why would you suggest that? Game? And they kept going. It's your turn now. Oh, uh, no. the steering wheel. Oh, that's a good one. And then it was his turn, and it went oh, on the yeah. entire ride. But it's your turn to drive now. <laughs> right, right. How about that? So don't don't tell me it's as easy as saying you know boy. Some boys like boys, and some boys like girls. I'd probably rather. It doesn't end with that. I'd rather ever. explain homosexuality than play the circle, play game. The circle <laughs> game. Someday you'll have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. uh, here you go. Everyone's been called gay today. Oh boy. <laughs> Except me. Oh well. Other than that whole episode in the mirror. <laughs> I get it. Yes. Everybody's making this way too complicated. There's an easy uh, explanation right, for kids. Okay, let's say hi to sure. Shannon in Virginia. That's Shannon. True. I think my point was just made. I think you just addressed it. <laughs> yeah. But the, the point is with kids, they don't need, you know, an explanation. You don't need to go into everything well they keep kids. asking their dumb questions right but aren't they going to ask questions about whatever the topic is like if you're not explaining homosexuality you're going to be talking about circles well, so I'm just talking about circles but homosexuality a lot of people are uh, first of all aren't comfortable talking about it secondly right. it's a very difficult thing well, for just the layman kind of parent to to talk about and and know if they're doing it properly you know wasn't yeah. joe's kid 13 though yeah, that's a little In this day and age, 13 year olds kind of. Yeah, they know. know. Of you course don't have they know. To. Yeah, yeah. When we were growing yeah. up, we had three channels and they kept the gay off the, off the TV. I was balls deep in buzz by fucking right. 13. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Think about it. We had, we had people like Paul Lynn and Liberace and. Ow. You want to talk about keeping the gay off the TV? They all acted like those guys that's were as straight. straight as possible. Yeah. So, but oh, kids, well, yeah. kids today, they, they see the gay. How and dumb were know. we to not know? We were dumb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're a fucking dumb motherfucker. Well, Ant does that great bit where the talk show host would ask Liberace when yeah. he's going to settle down with a nice woman. So, or lady. Lee, welcome back, Lee. Any ladies in your life? <laughs> right. Well, you know something, I'm Murph. still lucky. I I'm always looking. It's like Mother used to say. <laughs> I need to settle down and find a wonderful bo woman. Woman to be with. Well, Lee, you know, time's running out. A lot of eligible women out there. Tell me about about it, Merv. <laughs> and we're all watching going, yeah, why isn't he? Why doesn't he have a lady? <laughs> he should have a lady in his life. <laughs> right. Lee. <laughs> so look, we've come a long way. So look, relax uh, with the Michael Sam kiss, all right? Yeah, yeah. We've come a long way. This one's taking a little more time. I used to think that uh, women... Um, Paul uh, Lynn was another one oh, that yeah, they Paul would always Lynn. ask. Because oh, well, he was funny. Right. It was funny. Oh, center square. Oh, <laughs> oh. Just so gay, over the top. I had no idea. Oh, and ha you'd have no idea. He would tell blatant gay jokes in the center square. <laughs> he would? Yeah, yeah. Maybe if I flip my chair over. Oh, oh. You know, oh, oh I get well, it. That's... He's going to sit on a chair leg. But we uh, didn't get it, though. We were like, ah, he's an upside down man. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. Why would he do that? Fucking Ronan Martin are laughing in the upper square. Right. Drinking, blowing each other. <laughs> Could you find? Can we find? Uh, someone's got to put it together for us, though. Paul Lynn doing the, doing the center square. Because Ant's right. He had all sorts of crazy uh, double yeah. entendre gay things, gay yeah. jokes, and jokes. Not, not where I live. Right. Right. Yeah, they'd be like a, talking about right. straight sex or something. It's like, well, 
<laughs> Did the cock crow? Well, no, I shoved it in my mouth and asshole. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What's he mean by that? <laughs> Circle gets the square. <laughs> <laughs> Can we hear a little bit of him? You got him, Sam? Oh, tall end. Did you finish, Shannon? I don't even know. I think I did. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Thank you, Shannon, for your Have phone a call. Great day. Trying right. to be more polite, knowing that I got I look like a complete asshole uh, Can we hear in the next some of segment. This? Yes, no problem. Let's hear some here. Opie and Anthony have been creating radio gold for 20 years. Not bad for children of the 80s. Digging through the history, here's a 20th anniversary Opie and Anthony radio gem. We need this for the radio, Bobo. Yeah. Do we you understand? Bobo, the one man band. Go to the kitchen, get two pots, okay? <laughs> All right. Uh, you got two pots? Y yeah. Lay the phone down a little so we can still hear you. All right, they got a speaker. Okay. <laughs> Now take the pots and Bobo the one man band. Smash the pots together real loud. Yeah, like you're like that, that like cymbals. Yeah, yeah. Smash them together. <laughs> Sing a song. My sister just grabbed the damn thing. <laughs> 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 Bobo, sing Meet the Mets. <laughs> yeah, sing Meet the Mets with the pots and pans. Uh, all right, here, here you go. <laughs> I'm, in my, I'm, in my, I'm in my room. I'm in my room. We need pots and pans, though. Pots and pans. <laughs> Meet the Mets. All right, hold on. Hold on, I'm trying to get something. Get something to see. <laughs> you got the pot and pan? <laughs> Yeah, 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 I'm back. Now smash them together hard and sing Meet the Mets so we can hear you. All right. Hey, that was that was good. good. I'll give you that, but you need to do it like a parade, okay? <laughs> March through the house and do the same thing you just did. Uh, uh, all right. They, now they won't get sure. mad. Just tell them it's for the show. They'll it's understand. It's for the show. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bobo. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on for the show, y'all. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, shut up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>